Hello gamers, welcome to the channel. Today, let's take a look at Warhammer 40K Space Marine 2 on my Steam Deck Steam OS. Okay, you can see I'm playing on my Steam Deck. Okay, so I've got it already loaded up. Been playing a lot of Wukong lately, okay, but I'm testing out Space Marine 2 today. All right, and I haven't got the latest patch, which has FSR 3.1 built in, but uh, because I haven't updated, okay, but I do have a mod on which makes the performance run really really well on the steam deck so let me show you my settings okay video you can see actually i'm on my steam deck but it thinks i'm using an nvidia geforce rtx 4090 it's because i've got a mod on and that enables me to toggle dlss on and it in fact translates to fsr3 with frame generation and yeah i'm running at um low preset okay and yeah, and I'm on performance, on DLSS performance. So let's take a look. Okay, this is a paid mod, all right? I did try the free mod, it didn't really work. So I'm using Luke FC's paid mod. I'll leave a link in the description if you're interested. You have to join his Patreon in order to download the mod, but you can see on the top left corner, my FPS counter, like it's pretty much a stable 60. It does drop when there's a lot of enemies on screen. And you can see here, now I'm going to do parries. Okay, so a lot of people say, oh, you got frame generation on. Um, the, the input latency is really bad. You can't really play. All right, so let me show you. Obviously, this is not a really like hard parry because like, they shine blue when you need to parry. But yeah, it, it, it all works. So I'm going to test out the the latest built-in FSR 3.1. Maybe in a later video. I've already got all this set up. Been playing a little bit of it. Um, yeah, and like so for the input latency, make sure you press the three dot button on your Steam Deck. So let me move my camera a bit. Okay, so here make sure you don't um, limit your frame rates. Okay, because that will make uh, input lag. And then also don't limit your TDP, um, your GPU clocks. And make sure here, scaling filter, don't set it to FSR. That will create input lag. All right. So let me move my camera back. Um, and also one more thing. If you're having UI flickering, I'll, I'll show you what I mean. So here in video, you can see if I change it to like 16 by 9 it's because i'm going through a capture card uh connected to a monitor so that's why uh the resolution is a little bit wonky if you're playing on steam deck handheld mode just keep it at 800p 16 by 10 and you shouldn't have input lag i've tried that out but like if i connect it to a like capture card you can see the ui is flickering when i do 720p uh 16 by 9 so i actually have to do it like 720p i think it's 16 by 10 or something like that like i have to do this resolution uh, so maybe mess around with it if you are having like ui flickering so this resolution fixes my issue okay so yeah let me take you back to desktop mode and i'll show you how this is all done okay so before we go into my steam Deck's desktop mode i want to give a big shout out to ben q Okay, for sending over the B Creators DP1310 Professional USB-C Docking Station. Okay, so before I had this docking station, this is my setup. Okay, you can see like as a content creator, I do most of my work on my laptop and like the port is, like all the ports have been used because I've got a lot of stuff. The cables are pretty messy. I've got the consoles, Nintendo Switch right here. Um, so you've got the um, capture card, you've got the microphone, You've got the webcams, lighting, okay, headphones, okay, um, and then you've also got like keyboard and mouse, obviously, and then you've also got like um, this is the also a BenQ dock. It's the GR10 Steam Deck dock. Um, you've also got the USB storages because I've got a lot of games. Most of them are stored onto hard drives. You've got the USB C transmitters for your like headphones and your controllers. So it does get messy, okay? So now. Like if you take a look at my setup right now, this is my setup. Okay, I've got the DP1310 installed. It, it doesn't like take long to install. It took me around 30 minutes to get everything connected. Okay, the cables are still pretty messy, but I've got a lot more like ports now on my uh, laptop. 
And also at the front here, I've got more ports to connect, okay? And it's like way more powerful. As you can see, I've actually changed my setup a little bit. I've got an additional monitor because the DP1310 supports up to three 4K 60 hertz monitors, okay? So yeah, I don't think my laptop can handle that, but yeah, that's what it supports. Um, and it, it's really helpful with the additional monitor because you know, as a content creator, the more monitors you have, yeah, you know, it's it's easier. Like you know, when you're doing video editing, you really need that space, okay. And one thing that I really like about this is also it has the one button game on feature, okay. So right now you can see like this monitor, like it's currently this monitor is connected to my Steam Deck. Okay, so like on the computer side, I can actually only use these three monitors. Okay, on the top. But if I press this green button, it changes to blue light. And you can see the bottom monitor here becomes part of my desktop. So now I can use this as part of my monitor. So more real estate for my computer when I'm doing my computer stuff. But if I want a game, I just press this button again. And it switches because it's connected to my Steam Deck. Like that's how it's done. And then I, I can also press because like this a bonus. I've actually got a HDMI switch. So if I press this, I've also connected to my Nintendo Switch. So so one click I can also connect it to my Switch. So yeah, that's very, very powerful. Powerful stuff. And here, if you take a look, it's also got a lot of ports. So I'll put this up on screen. All right, one of the thing I want to mention, it has the PD 100 watt charge and it also has a lot of different USB port charges that charges like 36 watt, 7.5 watt. All right, so you've got a lot of ports that help you charge your stuff. You know, maybe your uh, GoPros, your phones, um, your controllers. So yeah, a lot of ports that really help out. So yeah, I'm really grateful for them sending over this amazing product all right so yeah thank you ben q for sending over this amazing product it really helps me out as a content creator so if you're looking for something like this you know if your your computer or your laptop like your ports are maximized and you want that one button game solution you don't have to switch out the hdmi every time you you know your computer setup and then you want to connect it to a console um, this is a one-stop solution so if you want to purchase this i'll leave a link in the description it's not an affiliated link it's just you know a link uh, i'm not sure why they didn't give me an affiliate link but yeah that's okay i don't really mind uh, i just want to help you guys out so thank you ben q okay so welcome back to my steam Deck desktop mode the first thing you need is you need to have the game folder Okay, so I've got mine right here. It's in my games folder. Mine's a non-Steam version. Warhammer 40k, Space Marine 2. Go inside client PC, root, bin, PC. And here's where I'm going to put my mod files. Okay, so I've got my game folder right here. And then second, you'll need to have the mod. It's a paid mod. So you need to be um, subscribed to Luke. FC's Patreon, which I have. Okay, so here under his Patreon, um, his uh, Discord server, mod releases, uh, Uniscaler. Okay, I'm just gonna locate where. Okay, you download it from this website. So visit website, and here's the website. You need to log in. So it checks if your, you know, your Patreon, you, if you've subscribed, and then I'm logging in. Takes a while. Okay, now I can download. So there's Uniscaler and FSR2, FSR3. Uniscaler is the newer one, but I'm not sure why um, I couldn't get this to work at the moment. So I'm using the uh, older one, getting uh, version 0.10.4. And I'm going to just select FSR2.2 because the game uses this. Okay, and then you just download the common files and the FSR file. Okay, and I've got them right here. Look, FC mods. Okay, so first get the common files. Oops, common files dot zip. Okay, I'm just gonna drag the WinMMDLL and WinMMINI over. I've already got it, so I'm just gonna overwrite. Okay, and then here optional NVNGX, we need this NVNGX.DLL. Drag that over as well, overwrite. And then make sure you have this, enable signature overrides. I'm going to put this on my desktop. I already have it, so I'm going to override. So it's on my desktop. 
Okay, because I'm going to use it later. Okay. Then we're done with the common.zip. We need the 220.zip. Okay, just drag the fsr2, fsr3.asi over. Okay. Now, now we're going to use the Proton Tricks app. So if you don't have it, go here to your Discover Software Center. Okay, in the search, type Proton Tricks. Okay, you see this red wine glass icon app? Okay, install it. I already have it, so I'm going to launch it and then search for a game. Mine's a non-Steam game, Warhammer 40k Spin, uh, Space Marine 2. Okay, and then uh, it feels like nothing's happening. It feels like it just disappeared. That's what happens when viruses work, right? When you double click on an EXE and nothing's happening, you know you, you, you got infected. Okay, so yeah, just be patient here. It's not a virus. Uh, but make sure you're on the Steam OS version um, 3.5.19, the stable release, because the beta release 3.6 doesn't work right now for Proton Tricks. I'm not sure why, uh, but maybe later they'll get fixed. So, okay, so it's taking its time. So just be patient. It might take a while. If you're enjoying this video so far, make sure you hit the thumbs up button really helps out the channel. We talk a lot about gaming handhelds, especially the Steam Deck, Lenovo Legion Go, Nintendo Switch. We talk a lot about emulation, mods, cheats, trainers, stuff like that. So if that's your thing, make sure you subscribe. And after all that talking, it's still not done. Okay, gotta be patient. Kind of panicking a little bit, but uh, yeah, it is what it is. Okay, finally, so select the default wine prefix, okay, and then here, run reg, uh, run reg edit, okay. Okay, this kind of feels weird because it normally doesn't take this long, okay. Registry editor, okay, go to registry, input registry file, and then enable signature overrides. And then you get this, registry editor, the keys and values contained in blah, 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 were successfully added to the registry. Okay, quit out of this, quit out of this, okay, and then you can run your game. But before we do that, go to your Steam, select your game, go to gear icon, properties, make sure you add this command in the launch options. I'll link it in the description, uh, not link, I'll, I'll put this command so you can copy and paste it in the description. So wine DLL overrides equals win mm equals n equals, uh, sorry, equals n comma b and then space com uh, percentage command percentage. Okay, so once you've got this, you can run the game first. Launch it, um, you should see this mod window and all this, but it's not gonna work the first time. you got all this okay it's not gonna it's, normally it wouldn't work for you on the first time okay so just stop it if you need to or maybe it'll just stop by itself and then on your game folder you should have a new file called this fsr2 fsr3.config.toml t-o-m-l okay go inside this and make sure you change fake nvidia gpu from false to true and also AMD Unreal Engine DLSS workaround from false to true. Okay, that's really needed. And then just save it. Okay, and then you can run the game. So boot the game again. Just wait for it to load, it does take a while. This is the mod window. Okay. So it's gonna create these shaders. It's gonna take a while. Okay, that, that's better, fix the resolution. Uh, okay, so you can see here, I can select the LSS. So 
yeah, that's that's the most important part. Okay, so that's how you install this mod and it works great with this game. Let me know if you have any issues in the comment section. If you don't, also leave me a message. We can engage in a little conversation, say something nice. And, you know, I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.